sponsored by Squarespace. This is what it's like behind the scenes at a local Japanese Teishoku restaurant. So today I'm in Oimachi, Tokyo, and I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm taking you behind the scenes at a local Japanese Teishoku restaurant. So it's gonna be in a little bit different style than the videos that I normally do. So let me know in the comments whether or not you guys like this type of video. If so, then I'll do more. That said, before I start, if you guys wanna see what I'm doing on the daily, then definitely check out my Instagram account. If you guys wanna help support the channel, definitely check out the Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, then check out my Discord community. All right, let me take you inside. So here we go with a new series, Japan Behind the Counter, where I take you behind the counter of local mom and pop style Japanese restaurants. And first on our list is Bulldog, a traditional Japanese Western influence style restaurant that usually has customer lines almost longer than its history. Just a three minute walk away from Oimachi Station, this shop was opened post war in 1949 in what was considered a black market area, but evolved over time and now is situated in this historic hidden back street alley known as Higashi Koji Shotengai, amongst other bars and restaurants with a similar history. So we're starting this video just as the store opens. This is the owner, Suzuki-san, or as everyone refers to him, Sensei, which means teacher in English. He's a second generation shop owner as it was passed down from his father. What time do you open today? Oh thank you! He gave me an ice cold tea! That's so nice of him! Rainy days are not so great in general for the restaurant business, especially in Tokyo since most people commute by train. Sensei, how much does rain make a difference? Before the store opens, food vendors come to deliver the shop's regular orders. There are about 3 to 4 vendors who come to deliver various food and ingredients in the morning, but some also come in the afternoon. Oh, here's some of the meat delivery. Two hours before the store opens, Sensei starts to prepare the shop. Usually there are other staff right at the open, but since it's raining today, the shop expects less customers, so it's only him to start off. First thing in the kitchen, he prepares the rice. How much rice are you gonna make today? Okay, I guess he decided. Sensei, how much rice do you make on a busy day? <laughs> No, I have a wife. Oh, he has some advice for me. いい女の人ってどういう人だと思う? Cool, I appreciate the lesson, Sensei. What's that? Can I ask you a question about the food? <laughs> Sensei definitely has a one of a kind personality, which I'm sure helps attract many of his customers. To be honest, I think I'll be hard pressed to find someone like him in future videos. Now he's making his special demi glace sauce and warming up curry for his workers. Sensei, so what's so special about your food? <laughs> Okay, he says that he makes all the efforts to make customers happy in terms of taste and price. If he didn't, he wouldn't still be in business. And what he does is nothing special, so he prefers not to discuss his food today. So what do you think about? Let's get back to the food. Apparently he's only using 6 heads of cabbage today, but normally he uses 20. Cool! Two other chefs are here now just before 10 a.m. to help with the food prep. Both seem to have worked here for a long time. He's mixing eggs and flour. What are you making now? Bulldog's most popular menu item is a menchi katsu, which is a Japanese breaded deep fried ground meat patty. But they also serve many other fried items, so they need to prepare a lot of batter before the day starts. And now, Sensei is making the shop's white sauce. 
Okay, here comes another life lesson. Uh, it's music? <laughs> he used to be a guitarist in a progressive rock band when he was young, which apparently greatly influences how he runs his business and what's led to his success over the years. いいよ。俺とお兄ちゃんが取るとやつはもらえなくなっちゃうじゃない。はい。そうすると俺が家買ったときに、なんであの時俺がダイヤ取ったんだろうと思っちゃうわけよ。そうすると自分が取らない方が
Damn, you never told me the rest. I guess I'll never know. Before noon, the seats are almost filled, even though it's raining today. I can see now how busy the kitchen can get on a nice day. Time to get busy. That's the chicken katsu. And now, a moment of silence for this fried goodness. Okay, now, I gotta ask, what's that? What the beef in addition to serving customers in the shop, they also make delivery orders using services like Uber Eats, which is quite popular in Japan these days. <laughs> it's just after the lunchtime rush, so let's ask Sensei some questions. When was the store opened? So how old were you when you became the owner? Did you think you would be a chef when you were a kid? So what's the hardest part about being an owner? Was it hard to manage the restaurant during COVID? What's your favorite food? What's that? <laughs> Around 2 p.m. between lunch and dinner hour, staff have a lunch break and eat makanai food, which is a special staff meal that's usually not on the menu. And today, Sensei is cooking for everyone. It looks like a giant menchikatsu and fried shrimp with tartar sauce dish. Oh, and with a fried egg on top. It's probably fair to say that many restaurants in Japan close between lunch and dinner, but Bulldog is open straight through, so while staff eat lunch, Sensei covers the shift. After lunch, the chefs prepare for the dinner time, which has a slightly different menu. In Japanese, it's called shikomi. What's that? What kind of meat is that? Gyu. Mm. Oh, he's adding flour into the pot of boiling butter. What's that? So, there you go. This is Japan behind the counter at a local Japanese restaurant in Tokyo called Bulldog. If you want to visit the restaurant, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. But be warned, come early, as chances are there's going to be a line of locals outside, especially on a sunny day. So I'm going to close it out here, so if you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. Also, since it's a new video, let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys want to see more videos about Japan or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.